on hospitalizations, let me start with this. Because we have had so many vaccinated and boosted, we're not seeing hospitalizations rise as sharply as we did in March of 2020, or even this past fall. Americans, America had, had made progress. Things are better. But we do know that with the rising cases, we still have tens of millions of unvaccinated people, and we're seeing hospitalizations rise. It means our hospitals in some places are going to get overrun, but in terms of equipment, both in terms of equipment and staff. That's why we stockpiled and pre-positioned millions of gowns, gloves, masks, and ventilators. We're mobilizing an additional 1,000 military doctors and nurses and, and medics to help staff hospitals. FEMA is deploying hundreds of ambulances and EMS crews to transport patients. We've already deployed emergency response teams in Colorado, Michigan, Minnesota, Vermont, New Hampshire, and New Mexico. We're ready to provide more hospital beds as well. The bottom line is we want to assure the American people that we're prepared. We know what it takes. And as, uh, as this group of bipartisan governors has shown, we're going to get through it by working together.